Graduates, today you become a member of our College of Liberal Arts and Sciences alumni who serve the state, nation, and world in every way imaginable. Our alumni are as diverse as the college from which they came. And I am so delighted to introduce today to you just one of those talented alumni. Mike Wachholz is the CEO and board member of Geometric Results Incorporated, the leading independent managed services provider of contingent workforce services. Mike has nearly a decade and a half of talent acquisition and engagement technology services, executive leadership experience in the workforce industry. He is a recognized industry innovator and customer advocate with a proven track record of leading high performing teams in the delivery of the very best talent, thought leadership and customer service possible to many of the globe's most recognizable brands. Mike attended the University of Florida, where he earned his Bachelor of Arts in Economics and his Juris Doctor with honors from the UF College of Law. He currently serves as a member of the college's Dean's Leadership Council and is a great friend to our college. We are so grateful that he was able to record a special message for you all today. Please welcome Mike Wackles. Hello, fellow Gators. My name is Mike Wackles, and like you, I'm a graduate of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. I'm really excited and pleased to be able to share a few minutes with you today on the great occasion of your graduation. I wanted to share maybe just a few thoughts with you, things I've picked up along the way in my life and my career that might be helpful to you. And so I'm going to jump right in and share with you five thoughts that, that I hope might resonate with you. So we're going to turn COVID on its head here a little bit, and let me jump right in. So first is drive. No matter where we go, I think we have to have that internal determination and drive to get there. We all have our own paths and you're all about to embark on your own journeys, which is really exciting. But at the end of the day, no matter where you're going or what you're trying to accomplish, you have to have that internal drive to get there and you need to rely on yourself as much as anybody else. So drive is incredibly important. Secondly is, is I, innovate. Now, innovation means a lot of different things to different people, but what I would encourage you to think about is how do you innovate sometimes even in the small ways? And that means to be brave and to maybe turn left when others are turning right and not be afraid to do things a little bit differently. I think you'll pick up very quickly in, your, in the early stages of your career that it's easy to follow the same path and, and take the path of least resistance. And I would encourage everybody to think about even small steps of innovation as you're exploring where you're going in your life and in your career. Next is V. I think this is a really important one, and that is volunteer. I really can't encourage you enough to, to jump in and volunteer at every opportunity that you have. You can clearly volunteer with the university. You can volunteer with important uh, community and, and social groups that are, are important and, and near and dear to your heart. And those are wonderful ways to explore uh, relationships, to, to learn a little bit more about what's important to you and also in a safe place to be able to explore your, your talents and your skills in, as you think about your career. But I also want you to think about volunteering in smaller ways, and that is volunteering your time to help somebody else or volunteering your time to help somebody get where they're trying to go with their career or with something that's important to them. And I've found in my life that it's those small moments of just volunteering bits of my time, uh, my energy or experiences that I've had that have been really valuable and, and paid off, not just in personal satisfaction, but in growing my career as well. Next is O, observe. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to just stop and watch and listen what's going on around you. I've probably learned more by keeping my mouth closed and my eyes and ears open in my career and my life than anything else. Observation is something that you should be thinking about all the time. Seeing how people around you behave and, and the careers um, that are developed many times are, are obviously through great learnings and lessons from uh, people around you and people above you and people below you. So I would always observe. There's never a time that we can't learn by watching how someone else succeeds or how someone else might fail. Lastly, and most importantly, C, connect. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to connect with your community, with your peers. Connection is, is perhaps one of the most important things that we have as human beings. And I would really encourage you to stay connected to your classmates, your friends, to the university, to your professors. You've got a powerful network coming out of the University of Florida and you should leverage it to your advantage. Now, a lot of people I, I, I've heard along the way say it's not what you know, but it's who you know. And I don't believe that. I think what's really most important is what is it that you can bring to people that you know? What value or insight 
or difference can you make in your conversations and connections with others? And that's a great way to start your career. So again, congratulations. It's awesome. You've made it. You've all worked so hard and you deserve only the best in your careers. Stay connected to your classmates and stay connected to the University of Florida. Go Gators.